Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Oak. welcome back to some more World of Tanks, but before we get to it, head down below, like and subscribe, this is part a lot, and let's get right into it. So today we are watching Darude, Darude, I'm not really sure, just going to be calling them D, playing in the one and only the KV-5, probably one of the oldest premium tanks in the game it has been here basically since the beginning it's probably they probably added it before i even started playing world of tanks like 2013 or whatever i'm not really sure when exactly they did but it has been around since forever basically as i said and d is playing on the kind of newish uh, outpost map i guess not really i'm not really sure when it came out a couple months ago maybe i'm not really sure it's still probably one of the newest maps in world of tanks it's kind of fun it's basically like other maps though where you know map uh, uh there's a city it's kind of corridor maps just kind of fun it, it looks nice but uh most of the time it isn't uh really that fun but you know that's one of the kind of only ways they can actually make it you know evenly balanced out so it's like a 50 50 or as close to a 50 50 chance of winning from each spawn because remember back in the day the south east or southwest map or i'm not really sure what it was called it was like a 75 percent chance of winning from like one uh from one cap uh, than the other and uh, de definitely don't want to be at a dis disadvantage straight away from spawning just that you spawned on the right wrong side and you're already down 20 percent chance of actually winning the game because that would not be nice and as D over here, or as we can hear, uh, D over here is using the quickie baby uh, commander in this tank, which uh, I didn't get, I, I really can't remember how you were meant to get it, didn't really even have time to get it, uh, but, but uh, definitely a uh, nice tank to get a quickie, quickie baby in. As uh, D has gone down to the south of the map and that's kind of maybe good because well, i guess there is quite a lot of his uh, team on this side of the map uh, but most of them are kind of camping back and he's actually one of the only kind of like two three four tanks that have actually moved up forwards uh, to where you can actually shoot the enemy tanks uh, but i guess with him going here he kind of left the middle and the north uh, northern part of the map just completely abandoned uh, as you can see Skoda T56 actually two of them and the WZ111 uh, up to the north uh, with only a 45 TP uh, stopping them and the Progetto 64 and the KV3 from the middle into just uh, rolling into D's uh, cap circle and basically capping uh, before anyone could probably uh, get back as we see the progetto is still in the center so at least the 45 dp doesn't have to worry about that for now uh heavy tanks from the north haven't moved up yet that 55 tp as we can kind of see i'm pretty sure is in some sort of on some sort of ridge possibly in some sort of bush and uh, well, actually probably not because he just got spotted uh, just spotted the wz right uh within probably 50 meters of him so maybe he was just sitting behind some rock. I'm not really sure. I uh, haven't really played this map uh, too much uh, at, the, at the moment yet. Uh, but as we can see, the TVP100 going back to base. Hopefully going to take out the WZ111 before the WZ111 takes out the 45 TP. Because uh, you really want as many guns left as possible. You know, uh, it's always better to have, you know, fifth. Well, most of the time it's better to have, let's say, six... Uh, teammates left on a, a one or two shot uh but you know st you still have six guns left in the game compared to maybe uh, you know one teammate left which is a one uh or it's on uh, four hit points but yeah i'm sure they can take a couple hits uh but you know they're only limited to their dpm of let's say 3000 but when you have like six guns with 3000 dpm that's always going to be a difference the TVP has stayed back as uh, the Skoda T56 has moved up forwards as well. Uh, the 45 TP is still, uh, still alive, so there must be some sort of uh, ridge over there or some sort of uh, rock outcrop that he is hiding behind and just proxy spotting those tank destroyers as we see the other Skoda moving up forward as well. Uh, and a T44 on D's team with... I'm not really sure. Let's see who else is over there. The Cheery 
have moved up uh, into the center of the map and are spotting the T, uh, the KV3 over there. As D is up to 3,000, uh, 3,000, 2,400 damage, taking a shot from the Amex 30 over there. Uh, and uh, that kind of takes him down to below half health uh, with this uh, tank being quite healthy. 2,020 hit points in this uh, configuration that D has it on. And as we see, he actually has removed speed governors as well, uh, which uh, of course gives 10% to the engine power and all of that stuff. But of course, it damages the engine as well. Wasn't really that useful uh, many years ago, but when they added... Uh, kind of equipment 2.0 i nearly said crew 2.0 but that, that's definitely not going to be as successful as equipment 2.0 when they when they added that in uh, those couple of years ago now uh you can basically just make all of your uh kind of uh crews uh not not crews but all of your kind of tank uh internal modules there we go uh just way more healthy than they were before so before you would probably uh get your engine destroyed several times if using uh, once using the speed governors but now you just have more hit points on your engine and all of your other tracks and all of that stuff so you can actually run those speed governors quite a lot more than you were uh, than you used to before 3000 damage 7000 uh, damage blocked and actually 1300 uh, spotting probably uh, spotting these tanks over here to all of his uh, teammates who were back there and there's only two left there was quite a lot more before uh, and it's not looking that well they might only be down uh, by one tank uh, but nearly 4000 damage down yeah you know that is quite hard normally to do uh, but actually it looks like a, a tank has come in into range maybe that's Skoda I'm not really sure but now they're only down by two and a half so either someone got absolutely massively hit or as we can see the wz coming into uh view range as well uh, 1800 it has updated the hit point difference but still you know it's a lot uh, so they, they do have to watch out uh on equal tanks now as um, some tank got shot down now what does d have to do over here he's locking down this southern part of the map which he has done a good job job at you know, 7,000 damage blocked, 3,000 damage done. As you kind of uh, may well know, the KV-5, really good armor, apart from this kind of RTD2 droid port over here, uh, where the uh, radio op operator sits, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure that Panther actually penetrated him over here, over here, which uh, I guess the Panther does have a really high uh, penetration gun. Uh, so I guess it is possible if you are shooting in the right place. With the FV4-202 taking out uh, the Panther, crazy to think that the FV4-202, when it first came out, uh, when it was still a tier 10, the KV-5 was already in the game for a couple of years probably by then. Uh, and the FV4-202 you know, first went through being a tier 10 to now being a tier 8 uh, premium tank. That was probably, what, like eight years ago now already? Not really sure exactly when, but it has been some time. Uh, maybe not eight, well, maybe not eight years. It probably actually might have been eight years ago, to be honest. Uh, the AMX uh, 30 taking out the FE-4202 whilst the CS-52 lease takes out one of the Skodas. Actually, both of them are out now. It's only uh, the AMX ahead of us, along with the Tiger uh, the challenger off to the right over there and the progetto still last spotted in the center he actually hasn't been spotted in quite a couple minutes so he could be anywhere by now uh but the cheery and the t50 the, the the t44 are moving up uh into the center to try and take out the challenger and maybe spot the progetto as well uh, the tiger one seemingly moving back uh, maybe uh to shoot the tanks in the center not really sure that amx uh, did maybe uh, just knew that he was going to die either way because he was getting spotted by D from here and then from the tanks in the center and he basically had nowhere to hide and thought that uh, his only chance is to hope that D would miss his shell and just to run away. Didn't happen though, up to five kills now uh, with the Progetto finally being spotted, taking out the T-44 in the center but here's a one shot, I'm pretty sure he was or maybe a two shot. Uh, now with five uh, tanks left on D's team with him 
uh, it does look like they do actually have a chance uh, to win this game. You know, two tanks up, but only 200 damage up. So they do still have to watch out. They can't go in uh, crazily and uh, lose all of their hit points because uh, most of these team is a one shot with only like the least being a two shot uh, for the challenger and the progetto as D takes out the tiger one getting hit by him probably where we all think yep over here right into the radio operators kind of uh home over there i guess you could call it uh d is saying that he can't carry harder and he hasn't done quite a good job without him in the southern part of the map i think uh the enemy tanks over here would have just pushed back because imagine he wasn't here that four thousand damage five thousand that he did over here he would have just uh you know just the, the enemy tanks would have just had that much more hit points over there and he would have bounced all of that uh, damage that would have maybe gone into his allies as the challenger did take him out I'm pretty sure as the challenger I'm not really too sure uh, can we actually go back to his tag no we can't but uh, D got taken out uh, trying to move into position to take out the challenger but now with four against two situation 200 hit points up the TVP taking out the challenger now turning into a 4v1. It's just a matter of time before these team get into position to take out the Progetto 46 with the Cherry putting in three of three into him and taking out the Italian premium medium tank. Securing the win in this brilliant game for the old but reliable KV5. Let's look at the post game stats and let's see how well. Derude did in this game. So as we see over here, Derude picking up his second mark of excellence on the KV-5, along with an ace tank, a cool headed medal, a high caliber and a top gun. For this 4,774 damage with the six skills and 1,794 base experience. D actually not running a premium account, but uh, with not using a food consumable and not uh, actually I don't think firing any uh, APCR rounds because I'm pretty sure he didn't have any loaded. A uh, 73,000 credit profit, which is definitely a decent profit to get. KV-5 carry hard, the KV-5 carried hard, Derude definitely did a good job in this game. But for now, that is good. Speak if you guys enjoyed, like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.